All right, so just came from Best Buy because I needed to pick this up for a trip that me and Cassidy are getting ready to go on, which I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about. But before I tell you about that trip, I do have a lot of explaining to do because it's been a very long while before, or bleh, it's been a very long while since uh, the last vlog update or really any major content coming from me. And there's a bunch of reasons why, and I'm gonna fill you in in this video today. So, <laughs> hang in there sit tight this might be a long video i'm trying not to make it one but in any case welcome to the vlog apparently i uh found some stuff in my car Hey, what's up, Keanu? That actually came in very handy, or might come in handy. I think I have some pants in here, cause like I'm not wearing black pants with this outfit, which is kind of out of character for me. But I think my other or fourth pair of pants is in here, and also the extra monitor or and monitor. So I might try to set this up and use that for the rest of this. Before I do any of that, one thing that needs to get done before we leave for this trip is actually I need to clean up a little bit. So I'm gonna do that first. And then I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this trip that we're going on and some of the other things that you guys have missed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But first, I'm gonna clean up so that everything's right first so I don't have to do it later because I will forget. And then I'll finish this. So I'll get to this in a minute. By the way, this is uh, the new Aperture M9. Well, it's not new. It's new to me. I just got one. Uh, as a very, 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 very late Christmas slash birthday gift to myself. Hello, Keanu. Keanu says hi. I had some B&H gift cards that I didn't use, so I used it on this. Came with this neat little pouch, and I actually used this in some of the shots. It's good. I'll set this up later. Keanu's just rowdy today. He just wants attention. I think he knows that we're leaving because the last time he saw the suitcases and stuff out, we left and he, you know, got really clingy. Just want to get everything squared away. Bear with me one second, because this, this ain't right. Eh, whatever. All right, so clearly it's been a while since I've done vlogs, as you could plainly see. Also, it's been a while since I've used this particular camera. This is actually my T6i, and I normally leave this at home, and I was actually taking it to and fro to the studio. More about that later. But I actually take this one around a lot, and then I stopped using it because I actually picked up this thing right here, which is the Canon M50. Now this is not the Mark II, this is just the Mark I because this was right before they announced the Mark II. I love this camera and you could see it's very, very tiny. This has become my go-to camera um, and I wanted this camera for very specific reasons. One, I love shooting 1080p. I know everybody's into 4K, but I would just rather have really good 1080p and this is a little bit sharper. Granted, it's more like a digital sharp. It just looks a little cleaner to me and I just kind of like the way that it looks for this particular thing and all the stuff that I plan to do, you get it. But I've been using this a lot more and I've been loving it. And as a drummer, I think every drummer 
if you want to do anything social media related, uh, you should actually have this camera. It's just really easy to use. In fact, all of my Instagram videos have been shot recently on this thing. Also, if you take a look at a couple videos that I recently did for Marlon Lewis and for Quasi Robinson, uh, I actually used this camera for that and my Weeble S that I got over the quarantine last summer. So I've been doing a lot of stuff in the past year that I've been gone from almost, yeah, almost a year that I've been gone from YouTube. So I know for most of you who continually watch and subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing so. I know that you guys have been watching the drum covers and I appreciate that and there are gonna be more of those on the way. There's just been a lot going on. And speaking of which, I owe you guys an update. This update comes with just a few big markers. I'm not gonna give you everything. First of all, I'm a little thinner. I lost a lot of weight and that had to do with some personal things that I was dealing with, mostly to do with this telethon and reopening and dealing with the COVID-19 situation with the museum that I work at. We pretty much went completely virtual and that meant that we had to figure out how we we're going to do our major fundraiser virtual. And this year we're also doing it again, but this year we actually have a little bit more lead time on being able to figure that stuff out. Last year we learned as we were doing it, only had a couple months to get everything shot and edited and done for the telethon, which didn't leave me much time to really want to do this stuff. Long story short, the telethon was super, super big, so I had to put a lot of time into that, and that just left me kind of drained creatively on wanting to do anything, so I just kind of stopped creating stuff altogether. Yes, Keanu? Two seconds, let me let me deal with this. I got your butt, I got your butt. All right, there you go. Is this better? That's all he wanted, he just wanted attention. Oh. We also made a lot of additions to the living room slash smart home since the last time you guys saw this. And if the audio sounds crazy, it's because I switched to the M50. You get I actually needed to get a microphone for this thing anyway, so I decided to go with the Video Mic Go, mostly because I'm going on this trip and I want to be able to vlog on this trip. No more excuses, no more excuses. I'm cutting out excuses. Since I can't find my freaking unboxing knife, that's out of character. I'm gonna use this musket tool instead because that's totally on par for me. So, uh... Now the good thing about this one is that I don't need to remember to put batteries in it because I know it's like one of those YouTuber cliches, but I definitely already had batteries die on me. We're not worried about this anymore. That's gonna be my backup microphone. This is probably gonna be my main vlogging microphone because I'm trying to make my kit a little bit smaller. And that has to do with some other things that I wound up doing uh, in between the telethon and now. And so I kind of started diving into minimalism by accident just because I wanted to get rid of, you know, distractions, make more time in my day for the things that matter or the things that I really want to do. And also stop making excuses for myself. No more excuses. Also, New logo, see that? Darren Kelton brain, you like that? It says, choose your heart. What does that mean? Well, first, I'm gonna put this microphone on here and then I'm gonna tell you there. Now that should be better or not. Let me know down in the comments if this is better or worse. Uh, where was I? Oh, choose your heart. Well, it comes from this thing that Cassidy sent me, but I wanna find it and get it right. I don't wanna butcher. All right, so someone made up 2021 goals and my wife Cassidy, uh, decided to send me this thing because I guess they posted it and it was somewhere. I don't, I don't remember how she found it, but she sent it to me and actually like really resonated with me. Like she kind of like, yeah, it's this thing. Thought of me. I'll read it for you. It says, marriage is hard. Divorce is hard. Choose your heart. Obesity is hard. Being fit is hard. Choose your heart. Being in debt is hard. Being financially disciplined is hard. Choose your heart. Communication is hard. Not communicating is hard. Choose your heart. And then it wraps up by saying, life will never be easy. It will always be hard, but we can choose our heart, choose wisely. Now that just really resonated with me just because it's like absolutely convicting. Like they're right. Like you have the option to do the right thing or do the lazy thing. And I'm a big proprietor of, you know, anything worth doing is worth doing right the first time. I mean, why haven't you guys gotten any video? That's a good question, right? If that's what I'm saying, if that's something that's there, you guys should be getting videos because I should definitely be choosing 
the harder thing to do or basically choosing wisely. And doing this is something that I like doing and I have fun doing it. So why not do things that also let me have fun? Meaning to say, you guys are getting more videos. Um, as we speak, actually, I'm gonna be finishing up an edit which you'll probably see before this video even comes out. There's still a lot to catch you up on. So we only really talked about the telethon. Um, I discovered minimalism. So you're gonna start to see my outfits become a little bit more, uh, you know, kind of in line. And also, yes, I'm in the middle of a rebrand. So if you go way, 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 way back to my videos in 2018, uh, here's one of them. This is No Tears Left to Cry. Uh, that's one of the ones that I vividly remember, like being there at the spot um but we got the spot back so as a co-founder of the spot um i've been doing a lot of big heavy lifting but some entrepreneurial things uh such as you know doing paperwork and stuff and all of that takes a lot of energy a lot of time and a lot of effort um so now i've been shooting those videos in fact those videos that i mentioned at the beginning of the video were actually shot by me at the spot soundstage. And that's what we're calling it now, the spot soundstage. And there's a lot of work being done all while I'm still working at the back. Now that I don't need to be sitting here, I'm just gonna go hop back to the other thing. Uh, yeah, no, he's back again. Or I'm gonna figure, figure this out. What time is it? It's not even time for you to eat yet. So why are you bothering me? Do you know that we're leaving? I don't know. I guess he figured himself out. Aside from all of that, I decided to pick up a new hobby. Um, so if you guys caught in one of the last videos that I did, I found two cameras for me and my wife. They were these old film cameras and I figured that it would be a nice thing for me and her to do together so that we can just create kind of nostalgic moments. I like the art aspect too of being able to see like what my wife sees in terms of like pictures because I'm not her so I don't see the world the same way that she does and I'm interested to see how she sees the world. We even went on a trip. That's where I got this hat from. This is actually dope little Disney hat if y'all can see that. We actually went to Disney World not that long ago to celebrate our anniversary. That trip actually helped me get to a completely different place as well because me and my wife got to just reconnect and kind of reset and be like, be in a different place. Um, it wasn't all bad, like there was COVID signs and announcements and stuff like every five minutes. So it felt a little weird. It felt like, you know, living in a dystopian society where you're trying to have fun and magical moments. And by the way, going to Florida, for Easter. Some spiritual friends of ours that we had, in fact, it was our youth pastor and his wife, they invited us to their church and they needed a fill-in drummer for Easter, so we're going down there and my wife is also singing. They're also the reason why my wife and I met because if it wasn't for me playing drums at youth group first and then figuring out that, oh, that girl cute and she sang, I mean, of course, I was gonna stick around and figure that one out, guys. Anyway, those are some of the life updates and I caught you guys up in a very short amount of time. So let me know if you guys care about some of the gear stuff that I've been talking about in this recent video, like camera stuff, like do you guys want me to talk more about that stuff? You guys want me to teach you how to do some of this stuff specifically for drummers or for Instagram or for YouTube or stuff like that. Like if that's something that you're into, maybe I'll do more of that. If you just want to see some more stuff that I'm interested in, let me know if that's something that you're into too. Uh, make sure you hit the like button if you actually enjoyed this video. If you didn't enjoy this video, hit the dislike button. I don't know. It's a good way for me to gauge what type of content to make. Also figures out a YouTube algorithm for things like this as well. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, yeah, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified when videos like this get posted, okay?